All right, we're looking at uh, polynomials and getting some terminology out of the way. And let me write this example. Ooh, I don't like that. Let's get that out of there. Try this again. 2 minus 20z squared. Okay, let's write this thing in standard form. So standard form. It would be written this. So this is standard form. Okay. And this right here is considered to be the leading coefficient. Okay, the leading coefficient. Alright, let's take a look at another one. Let's say we had 4 minus 2t plus 5t squared minus 8t cubed. Let's write this in standard form. So we want to write this in standard form. Okay. And then we want to identify the leading coefficient. So let's take the negative, this part here, 8 t squared oops that's 8 t cubed plus 5 t squared minus 2 t plus 4 now it's written in standard form Okay. The leading coefficient, this is a coefficient, a coefficient, but the leading coefficient is negative 8. That's considered to be the leading coefficient. The degree is 3. You look at the term with the highest degree. Alright, moving right along. Now we're going to talk about the distributive property. It's not an F, that's a T. Now we have done problems and have used the distributive property. However, we're going to point it out this time. So we have some polynomial here, and let's use the distributive property. And the distributive property states this, that you're going to take this 10 and distribute it across to each one of these terms. So we end up with 10x minus 30y, right? It's 10 times x, 10 times 3, which gives us 30y. All right, let's take a look at another polynomial. should say equal sign there because these are two equal. So distributing the 5 across to each term inside we have 5a plus 
B plus 35. Okay. Now you're going to need to go backwards, and that is you're going to be given this, and you need to go in that direction. In other words, factor the, factor the 5 out. All right, we got a couple more here. Negative 8 times 7 minus 2x plus 3y. Okay, distribute to each one of these terms. So negative 8 times 7 is negative 56. We'll write an equal sign here. Negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16x. Right, and negative 8 times 3 is negative 24y. Negative 24y. All right, let's do one more and we'll call it quits. Right, um, negative x plus 6y plus z and this is going to all be multiplied by a negative half. Now you notice I wrote this negative half over here on the right hand side. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's on the left or the right. So distribute this negative a half to each one of these terms here. Okay, so we have a negative a half times negative x which is going to make that a positive and we could write it like this x over 2 Right, a negative a half times six is minus a half of six is three. Y, and a negative a half times z is a negative um, z over two. Negative z over two. All right. So that's going to end this. We got a couple more videos, a few more videos for this section, but uh, I'll see you there at my YouTube channel. Bye.